G here, we're going to be working on some intimidation techniques here, okay? And you can push, 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 push. Okay? So it's a front choke hold. He's coming up here to intimidate me. And as he comes up here, my hand's coming super high. Get that really high as you can. This won't work. Get that head super high, okay? Now if his arms are bent in, you know, like this, and I come across the face, that's fine too. But we gotta get that elbow up, okay? So I'm coming across here, coming back with that hammer face. Or hammer face, okay? Second hand, palm strike or punch. Right here, I'm gonna knee to the groin, knee to the face, as I disengage, all right? We're gonna do almost the same thing from the back. So he's grabbing me here. Maybe he's slamming me up against a wall or a fence or a tree or something like that. But he's there again. Those arms might be locked out straight with a push, right? Or they might be bent in. He also can yell, yell in my ear or something like that. Hands are coming up super high. I'm turning. Again, I've got to get this shoulder blade, get this elbow up over that arm here. Coming across. Even if I'm shorter, I can still come across. Okay? So even though I'm short, hand up, turning here. Okay, I'm in the exact same position. Strike, strike. There's my knee, or I can use my other leg to come in there. Okay? Disengage, of course, alright? From the side. The side's a little bit different. Okay, here. Okay? I'm going to kind of pluck this hand down a little bit. I don't want to pull it off. Okay? That hand's going to slip off and he's going to end up cho chopping me in the throat. So I don't want to do that. Hands here. I'm going to pull down as I strike the groin, so it's right into there. Again, this hand, straight to the face, there's my knee, there's my disengage, okay? All right, we'll be going over this a lot in class, but there's your choke from the front, the side, and the back.